Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Cooking with Ish. Caramel apples are one of the fall's tastiest snacks. Not only they are easy to make, but also super fun to make them with family. We can personalize them with different kinds of toasted nuts, chocolate chips, sprinkles, etc. Apart from this video, you can also find the detailed recipe in the description box below. Let's look into the ingredients now. My caramel recipe is a super easy recipe with just three main ingredients and one optional ingredient. We need one cup sugar, one fourth cup heavy whipping cream, three and a half tablespoons of room temperature butter, some vanilla essence which is optional and we would need green apples, some skewers or popsicle stick and also some toasted nuts. I am using toasted pecans and toasted peanuts here. First clean the green apples thoroughly. You have to make sure that all the wax is gone on them otherwise the caramel wouldn't stick on to them. Put in the skewers or the popsicle sticks into the apples and pop these into the refrigerator while we make the caramel. This will ensure that the caramel will stick on to the apples properly. Take a pan and add the sugar into it and start melting it by mixing it continuously. I prefer a large saucier pan here and also the heat should be on medium high. You can take any kind of sugar, white sugar or cane sugar or brown sugar. I am using the organic cane sugar here. In about 1.5 to 2 minutes, the sugar will start watering. After about 3 to 4 minutes, the sugar will become all clumpy and solid. But everything will eventually completely melt. Continue cooking until all the clumps are melted. The whole melting process should take about 10 minutes give or take. You can see the sugar becoming rock solid and again turning back into liquid. Keep mixing and stirring continuously and patiently until all the clumps are melted and you get a smooth liquid. A little caution here, the sugar syrup gets extremely hot so while mixing it be really careful and try not to spill it on yourself. By this point of time, you will see that the sugar has turned to a little darker amber in color and also you will notice a nutty aroma. Don't let it get too dark as it will burn and the caramel will go bad. Switch off the stove and quickly add in the butter and combine it thoroughly until everything is mixed together properly. The mixture will bubble up but keep combining it until all the butter has melted and everything is binded well. It's very important that you use room temperature butter. Now slowly pour the heavy cream into the caramel and mix until incorporated. I would like to give a small tip over here. First add just a bit of it and then mix it thoroughly until the caramel starts to thin out and then you can add the rest little by little and then mixing it together. Once everything mixed properly, you can add the vanilla into it. This is an optional step. Mix well to incorporate all the flavors. Pour it into your desired bowl and let it cool down for about 5 minutes. You can see how silky and velvety the caramel sauce is. Now take a butter paper or aluminum foil and then spray it with some butter spray or brush it with melted butter. Bring out the apples and working quickly dip each apple into the warm caramel to completely coat the apple. Keep turning the apple until it gets enough caramel coating on it. You can observe how easily the caramel is solidifying. This is because of the refrigeration we have done. Now roll these caramel dipped apples in your desired toppings. Keep them on the buttered spread sheet until they are little settled. You can also refrigerate them for a crispier taste. Look how easily they are coming off the sheet because of the butter spray. It is really that easy to make this really yummy, tasty and nutritious snack. Of course with sugars. A small cook's note over here. Because the caramel requires constant attention when cooking, it will be better if you prep everything beforehand like having the butter paper laid out, your toppings ready in the bowls, etc. Hope you make these yummy caramel apples and enjoy. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications of my videos. Thank you.